available to you. Go out, get your internship. This is what I did. I put everything in one pile, went out, got my internship, got hired on part-time before I even graduated ICB. Within two months after graduation, I was hired on full-time in the production department. Guess what? Now I got the best of both worlds. Monday through Friday, it's production. Every Saturday night, I have my own show on air at 96.7 The Eagle. Classic rock. That really rocks. You just heard it firsthand, so now it's your turn. Call the Illinois Center for Broadcasting at 630-916-1700 to schedule a campus tour. That's 630-916-1700. Or visit BeOnAir.com. That's BeOnAir.com. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, where broadcasting careers begin. SportsRadio.com. Dr. Pete, alongside Chris Labosco, Kyle Griffin, and me. So there's nobody else I'm alongside, but, you know, alongside the two of us. Dr. Pete and the two of us here. Badgers, Spartans, Big 12 action that we're looking forward to. Chris, you saw Wisconsin before. What's the, uh, what's the thought process? What was what, Wisconsin bringing our way? Well, Wisconsin bringing pretty good game here, uh, really good passing in between each other. And really, I mean, the, the game that we saw, they really didn't dominate, but they were able to keep ahead from for pretty much the entire time and take away the win. So they, they play a pretty consistent game. Mm -hmm. And I, I haven't had a chance to see Michigan State yet. You guys have. Yeah, this is our third time calling MSU. This is their third game in a row. Mind you, the first one ended in 36-34 action. So we're going to see their uh, their fatigue level. Again, a short bench to begin with if you look at it. Badgers coming off a big of a bit of a rest. Badgers near to far wearing the short sleeve white jerseys with red numbers and letters and black trim. MSU far to near long sleeve, long sleeve white jerseys with the green sleeves, green numbers, and black trim. Around that, Badgers have two former SportsTownChicago.com All-Stars in Courtney Thomas and Ellen Chapman. We say uh, Courtney Thomas, our poster girl, because she's actually the one on the banner stand who is setting from our All-Star game. So congrats to you. Live on Chicagoland Sports Radio and Sports Town Chicago right now. Libero for Wisconsin is going to be number four, Anne Marie Hickey. And back to serve is going to be number five, Rushel, and we're underway. Bump back row, spike near side, but it doesn't go over. Point goes to the Badgers, and they have struck first, Velasco. Yeah. <laughs> so I looked down for a second, and I missed the, them striking first. Uh, goes back to what Joe was Just saying. Just hit him, Kyle. Just hit him. <laughs> goes back to what Joe was saying, saying, if you blink, you can miss a play. Rushel serves over, 1-0, decoy across the middle, spike far side, good pick up by Rushel again, trying to get to it at the net, was Mitchell not able to do so, spike far side, Chapman, she's calling for it again, Thomas back set, double block, MSU, with the block, 1-1. One, one. Beautiful block right there on that far side, getting up, Badgers didn't even see it coming. Back to serve now. Number six for Michigan State is going to be Detlinger. Drops it over to Reschel. High return. Quick one set. And there it is. Matthews first kill of this game. 2-1. Labasco, she is a force in the middle. Yeah, and really that was one kind of just misplayed a little bit there by number 16 for Wisconsin. Caroline Workman. Right back to serve Ziggy. Bump by Workman. Lavero Hickey sends it far side. Chapman went for the kill. Able to return. Chapman goes for the block. Chapman says nay. Chapman, a big, big tall force right there in the middle. Using her, using her arms at an advantage. Nothing the Spartans could do there. Alexis Mitchell with the serve. Quick one. Matthew sends it into that. Missed times that one. 3-2 going to be your score on SportsTownChicago.com and ChicagoLandSportsRadio.com. 
I think I think you'll be surprised, Pete. The fatigue level of Michigan State is probably not going to be as high as you would think. Adrenaline, when you're in a tournament, adrenaline really just gets going and it takes over. Matthew goes for the kill. That drops in. Oh, that dropped in. 3-3, MSU ties it up. Beautiful right there. Matthew saw it coming and hits it right off the top of the block. Lands it on that back line. Give the point to Sparty. Back to serve is Ryan Hubbard. Oh, excuse me, that is going to be Moster. Chapman down, but able to be kept alive by Kelsey. Returning the favor, that one almost comes up here in the stands. Amy Detlinger, con la muerta, 4-3. And all the tournaments we've had here, I have yet to see one come up to the second level. I'd like one to. I want to have the chance to catch the ball. There was one that was close in this last tournament, almost within arm's reach, but... Well, you have Close, short arms. But no, as well. <laughs> for Alex, thank you. Chapman tips it over the top. Kelsey to the far side. Moster sends it to White. White sends it through. Misplay high set by Rushel, making it 5-3 now. And back to serve for Michigan State is going to be Moster. She teardrops it, able to be dug out by Workman. Spike far side. Number 13, Mary Ording, Rama Lama, ding dong. Pretty clear path to see where she wanted to hit that one. Saw the far corner was open and dropped it right in for the point. Former Sports Town All Star Courtney Thomas serves it over. Bump 10 foot line coming in for the kill is Kelsey, or excuse me, that was Detlinger. Not able to get there. White goes for the kill. Pancake down low by Hickey. Chapman goes for the kill. Back to Galloway. Thomas high set. Chapman goes for the kill. Good punch keeping it alive back Rose Moster. Near side kill attempt. Moster underneath it again. Back set kill attempt. Thomas underneath it. Right hand kill attempt there by Ording. We still are rallying in that one. No tip call. Badgers. The Badgers don't care. Why should they? They got the point right there. No tip off the top. They knew it right away. Courtney Thomas, huge jump serve. That one just goes out of bounds. Former DeKalb Barb. 6-5. Hey, you know it's a pretty big serve when it comes up and you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> Only other person I've seen that high is Laura Williams, who is Duke bound from Lions Township. Chapman! Woo! Woo! 6-6. Six, six. Don't forget about one of your favorite players, though, either in Vonderhaar with the very high serve. That's true. I haven't seen her. I didn't see her today. You got to call it twice. Over the top. Backslide. And not able to get there. Pass went too far. Kelsey Keeper, 7-6. As, as a freshman, she didn't get too much time. She did play quite a bit in the, the last game that I had seen. Serves, incredible serves, just couldn't get them to stay in the court. Set near side, going over the top is going to be Galloway. Courtney Thomas back set, and oh, that one almost goes out of bounds. The Badgers able to keep it alive. MSU over the top. Good double punch is by Thomas. Set back, 10-foot line. Detlinger goes for another kill. Break on through to the other side. 7-7. Seven, seven. Not it up, Griff. Yes, it is. You broke through that wall, and that thing dropped like a, a ton of bricks right in front of the Badger. Not going to be able to get to that one if it's dropping three feet in front of you. I'm going to say head coach is the roaming George. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> the roaming George. Left side, big kill, strike. But able to be picked up is Dettinger. Caller Moses. She parted the Red Sea of Wisconsin. It's a good one. Thank you. High set. Thomas, backside. Swinging with a right hand was going to be McCulson. 9-7. MSU with the serve. Galloway from Porch, Michigan. Serves it over. Thomas, big set, far side, blocked by Kelsey. Thomas sets again, far side, able to swing the axe. Hey, Paul, Paul Bunyan on that one. Number 12, Julie Nichols, 9-8, your score. Badgers trail by one, back to serve the libero and Marie Hickey. Jump serve, right hand. Bump, back row, Hubbard. 
Spike able to pick up the pieces. Wisconsin, left hand kill. Face to face. Nine, nine. Woo. Beautiful right there, breaking through that double block. Got to get the, got to give the Badgers credit for there. They're, they're seeing it, and they're not afraid to punch through it. And that one just drops out of bounds. Anne Marie Hickey just drops out of bounds. On the year, 73 sets for Hickey, 38 serves, 558 digs. That's a lot of digs. Yeah, it is. Right hand set serve, back corner. Chapman bumps it. Thomas far side. Trying to keep it in with the left hand and does so. Point goes to MSU. Lift called on the Badgers. 11-9 year score. It's going to be a point for the Badgers no matter what. Like you said with the left end, it was blocked right away too. Keepers, set serve, Thomas, decoy. Tips over the top, high return by Kelsey. Near side going off the high of the double block. Thomas slides underneath a good play by Courtney Thomas. Sending it to the back row there is going to be Mitchell. Going for the kill. That one stays in bounds. Alexis Matthews. Boom goes the dynamite. She wasn't sure at first if that one had stayed in or not. She kind of went, ah, and then she looked to make sure that it was a point and then started to celebrate. I miss T and Jin's roundabout little circle dance. I really do. <laughs> I think there needs to be a high school or collegiate team that starts incorporating that. Point goes to the Badgers off the tip. I mean, did you get to call a T and Jin game? No, I did not. Ah, Every effort they get every point, they run in a circle around each other. It's amazing. It really is. I said if, if we had wireless mics, we, you know, we would do that after every good call. So that means it would never happen. 12-10, your <laughs> score back to serve is going to be Workman. Back row, 10-foot line kill attempt. Big block there. Double thumb, Bailey Rushel, both thumbs taped up. Probably from swinging the axe so much. Workman, hop serve, right hand. Back row, Galloway, up to Kelsey, spike down. Dettinger, set to the far side, looking for the kill. Awkward swing on that one. Was Rushel. We continue along, Dettinger, two players, pancake. But not able to get there in time is the libero Hickey. 13-11, Sparty with a two-point lead. Anybody? No? Nobody? Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Two of you, and you leave me hanging. Love it. 13 go, 11 Chris. your score. Kelsey with the serve, and that return goes out of bounds. Chapman not able to pick it up cleanly. 14 11. Chris, like you said, Sparty not feeling the fatigue. No, definitely not. I mean, I've played in tournaments like this, different sport lacrosse, where you play a lot of games in a day. You really don't feel the effects of the fatigue until after you're done with the tournament. Ah, so they're not going to be able to move yesterday is what, or tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. They're not going to be able to move yesterday. I'm college educated. White with the big kill attempt. Thomas keeps it alive. Set. Far side half the block. Good pick up by Libro Moster. Tip over right hand. Oh, good job. Keep it alive along the far side by Workman. Right hand kill attempt. Moster underneath it. Oh, but that goes too far. Good play there by the Badgers. Not letting the play get away from them. Yeah, and the Badgers right now, I mean, they just got to keep the pace that they're at and try and stay with Michigan State. Rushel back to serve. Two-point deficit for the Badgers. Thumb taped. Serves it right over. A high bump. Galloway. Down. Kill. Matthews. Ball meets world. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful set right there to Matthews right across the middle. She's very she's very lethal right there in the middle. If, you, if she gets the perfect set and no one's covering on the backside, she can hurt you. Dellinger serves outside. Chapman tries to go for a kill attempt. Sits up. Matthews again. One, two, three, four. Get that kill on the flow. Got to gotta get up, get down. Got to get. Timeout called on the court. We'll take it with him. Four-point lead for Sparty. Can Badger come back? We'll find out. Sports Town Chicago and Chicagoland Sports Radio.com. You love watching and talking about sports, so why not turn that passion into a career in sports broadcasting at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting? 
Hi, I'm Matt Abaticola from Sports Radio 670, The Score, Chicago's number one sports talk station. I wouldn't be where I'm at today without the time that I spent at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. For more information, go to beonair.com forward slash Chicago Sports or text Chicago Sports to 33239. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, where sports broadcasting careers begin. Welcome back. Sports Town Chicago and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com, 1612, your score. Chris, one thing I want to bring up really quick is talking about the fatigue. Team Team Jin played a bunch of matches yesterday. Yeah. A bunch of matches. Not so successful here today, at least overall in games. They won some sets. You know, do you think they are feeling, because, again, we were here last night at 9 o'clock. They were still playing. Wow. Right away again, 9 o'clock again this morning, less than 12 hours in between you know, this type of intensity after an ace from Michigan State, 17-12, that's got to have an effect on some of these teams. I, I, I would definitely think so. And if you think the competition that they were probably playing yesterday probably wasn't the same as what they're seeing today. High off the top point goes Badger on that one, 17-13, your score. Again on Sports Town Chicago and ChicagoLandSportsRadio.com dual broadcast. On the WIC Radio Network, Dr. Pete Kyle Griffin and Chris Labosco. Yes, three Italians. They actually let us hang out together. Not able to get underneath it cleanly is Denninger. Moster has to set it over to reset up the attack for Wisconsin. Chapman down. Chapman kill. 17-14. Badgers trail by three, Griff. Great recognition by Chapman on that outside. Saw everyone on the Michigan uh, side. Pulling over towards their right side near the 10-foot line. Shot at cross court. Got the point. Serve over. It's going to be by Mitchell. Standing in and that is Detlinger. Michigan State starting to feel that time out of it, Chris. Yeah, I mean, really just trying to kill the momentum there was the part of the reason why you take that time out if you're Wisconsin. And not only that, just to recollect yourselves, and it's really paying off. Quick one set, Matthews. Thomas able to get to it in time. 10-foot line, Mitchell sends it right into the net, though. 18-15, three-point lead for Sparty. Well, the big thing is right now for Wisconsin, you can't gift back points. When Michigan gives you points, take them. Don't, don't give them right back. That was awesome. Coach George was just uh, right behind the line judge. Good uppercut by Hickey. Badgers earned and deserved that point after that play by the Lee Bro Hickey, making it 18-16. Yeah, you're 100% correct, Pete. She was able to, she was going down towards the ground, able to one hand punch that one up. You know, got to give them all the credit in the world in making that happen. Wondering George now almost in play. Back to serve number 11, recently checked in. Catherine Kavas, a serve specialist, outside going for the kill. Galloway. Sending it to the gallows. Yeah, I, I sort of know how she feels being that wandering coach. You kind of, you want to be right where that action is and communicating with your team from the side. You know what we haven't said all day? Gentle reminder, everybody, December 1st, 2012, the Sports Town Chicago Illinois State High School Volleyball All-Star Game. Saturday, December 1st. Stay tuned for more details on location and time. But date has been set. Back to serve. Number 20, Chapman. Seeing a lot of playing time in this tourney. 10-foot line kill attempt. Dettinger. And she sends it far. Point goes to Badgers. 19-18. Badgers with in one ice field. Another point. Coach Wandering George may call a timeout. I would. You know, you got to give your team a, a quick second to breathe. Chapman, who last I checked was at least 6'4". Good one hand underneath that one. Her in the back row. She takes up three quarters of it, it seems. Kelsey over. Not able to jump high enough for that one. Was going to be Catherine Gavas, 2018. Sparty up again by two. I was going to say, even if they get that next point, I wouldn't necessarily have called. I wouldn't call a timeout just yet. Your team's still playing pretty well. Just let them ride a little bit more. Galloway serves, set, far side, big, monster, kill, Russell, because this is Thriller. Thriller. Back to serve, number four, Libro and Marie Hickey. Bounces a few times. 
Hop serve, right hand. Good pick up, back row, Hubbard. Near, oh, wow, Hickey able to get underneath that one cleanly. Back, slide down, not able to clean it over the top. Kelsey with a low set on the slide. Got to get it a little higher, about two height on that one. Not able to do so. Not it up at 20. Now you have to have that set right at the net or, or about a half a ball above just to, to have it anywhere possible for the Spartans to get Hickey it over. Hickey off the inside of the palm. Rotation checking in is Moster. The serve, or excuse me, is going to be props. The serve specialist. Well, Michigan State 21-20, exciting action here. Michigan State, hey, man, they are on the reserve tanks right now but aren't feeling a thing. Mitchell goes for the kill. Dig down low. Galloway. Double blocked. Double blocked. You shall not pass. 21-21. Going one on two with that double block. Not able to get through. Perfectly closed. Couldn't ask for anything better. Caroline Workman, hop serve. Bump down low, Galloway, a lot of net play there. Can they set up Mitchell? But they're setting up Galloway at the 10 foot line. Everybody within the 10 foot line from both teams on that one. Mitchell down good, dig down low. Is gonna be by Moster. Spike off the top, down to one knee is Hickey. Thomas left hand, dump! 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 Timeout MSU after the dump by Thomas. 22-21, Sports Town and Chicagoland Sports. You need to be to get your daily dose of news. Buckley has been shot. Sports. I want to eat her children. Entertainment and ignorance. They need security in the world, friend. Now go on to Educated Insanity on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com where we interview musicians, rappers, comedians, and all sorts of ignorant people. So make sure you join me, J.R. Bank, along with him. Yeah, that'd be me too. Jay Washington, along with him. Illinois Jones. Yeah, yeah. For Educated Insanity. Wednesdays, 4 to 6 p.m. on Chicago. LandSportsRadio.com. Sports, 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 sports. Now Chicago.com. Pete's Guido song in the building. I did just get a haircut yesterday, too. Yeah. Oh, I need one. Uh, just for an update, the reason all of our listeners at home may say Henry Hickey's name is so familiar, Joliet Catholic Academy. Oh, yeah. There you go. From JCA. So, again, we said her name many a time last year. Decoy across middle. Matthews. Thomas not able to adjust in time. Tied at 22. Chris, how much momentum can a timeout really stop? Well, it, it'll stop. It depends on how much momentum you have, too. I mean, really, neither team has gained too much momentum, but something like that, it keeps it pretty even. 10 foot line, kill attempt, Mitchell, good dig, good dig, Moster. Outside, White tips it over the top, Mitchell keeps it alive, Hickey with a far directional tip. Back, slide, Mitch, wow, what a block, Mitchell blocks, Matthews, welcome to the block party, 23-22. Yeah, all the Badgers are joining in right now. That was a huge, huge momentum shift for the Badgers right there. Just got to keep it going, and that's not the way to do it. Sending it right into the net, knotting it up. Chris, when you play a team so much in the regular season and then see them here, which is a glorified off-season exhibition or even a little bit past the postseason, there's still some, we'll get to it in a second, high return, Workman over Moster. Quick one, Matthews! Wow! Slam dunk, 24-23. What's it like being able to play a rival, such a heated rival? We'll just keep it here for this break because I want to hear Chris's response. Playing a conference rival, Big Ten, something like this in the offseason, there's got to still be a lot of implications there. Oh, there always is when you're playing a rival. You want to beat your rival every time you play them. There's no doubt about that. doesn't matter what, what time of the year it is, you want to beat them. Again, we are live on Chicago Land Sports Radio and Sports Town Chicago. If anybody is interested in becoming a volleyball broadcaster themselves, like Chris, I, or Kyle pretends to be, make sure you check out the Illinois Center for Broadcasting at year-long college. Location locally in Lombard, Illinois. 
year-long college program, you can become a college volleyball broadcaster yourself. Be on air.com, 630-916-1700, Ilman, Center for Broadcasting. And back to serve, set one point over Dettinger. Thomas, decoy, Chapman, two-hand. Oh, good uppercut back row by Dettinger. Kelsey keeps it alive. Side bump by Galloway. Back row, Workman. Com Thomas, far side. Chapman! Blocked! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No! 25-23. We'll wrap set one up here. We'll be back set two on Chicago and Sports Radio and Sports on Chicago.com. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Pete from SportsTownChicago.com and I'm also a remote DJ for Radio Disney AM 1300. And I want to ask you, do you want a career that you could love? Because if you do, I think you need to come check out the Illinois Center for Broadcasting and make your broadcasting career begin here. Go to 455 Eisenhower Lane South Suite 200 here in Lombard. Again, that website is beonair.com. Phone number 630 916 Six, seventeen hundred. Again, for a career in broadcasting that you and I and everybody can love, go to beonair.com. Have you ever wanted a career in sports broadcasting? Matt Abaticola here for the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. Their 10-month program offers hands-on training in both radio and television. Learn on-air and behind-the-scenes skills just like I did at ICB. ICB's 10-month program offers internships, job placement, and financial aid for those who qualify. You can host sports shows, do play-by-play, -play, and color commentary of live games. For more information, text BE ON AIR to 46786. That's BE ON AIR to 46786. Or go to BeOnAir.com. Once again, that website is BeOnAir.com. Com. This is Stephen Milhausen, the host of the Fight Club Chicago. The Fight Club Chicago used to be on Monday and Friday, 1 to 5 p.m. Central Time. Not anymore. The Fight Club Chicago now will be on Monday through Friday, 3 to 5 p.m. Central Time, as we bring you the best from the UFC, Bellator, Strike Force, the world of boxing, and the world of professional wrestling. You'll get the premier interviews in all of combat sports. So tune in to the Fight Club Chicago, Monday through Friday, from 3 to 5 p.m. Central Time, right here on Sports Town Chicago. Com. You ever thought about being a volleyball broadcaster yourself? Play-by-play, -play, color commentary, behind the scenes? Consider the Illinois Center for Broadcasting, a year-long program where you can become the next volleyball broadcaster. Go to beonair.com or call 630-916-1700. Triple Threat Show is going viral with Tiro and TK. Uh, hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. We are everywhere and we are doing deals. The Triple Threat Show from 730 to 930 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You know the day destroys the night. Night divides the day. And welcome back here on SportsTownChicago.com and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. Dr. Pete's taking off. He's got to get out of here. So it's uh, going to be me and you, Labasco, all the way home. So uh, take it away, my man. Yeah, getting ready to serve here for the second game. Going to be Wisconsin. Now I'll have to get reacquainted here. And then uh, Kavaz, Kavaz with the uh, going to be the first one serving. Actually, it's going to be Michigan State. With the serve. Yep, Sparty's going to start us off. Kristen Kelsey with it. Kelsey. Kelsey getting ready to start off this second game here. Sends it over into the far corner. The set, now the spike over. Just going to be dropped in. Going to be out, though, I believe. Yes, it is. They're going to call that out right on that, that far side edge, right near that 10-foot line. Not able to keep it in bounds. Good getting out of the way for the Spartans. Yeah, Chapman tried to keep it on that near side, couldn't do it. Hits hit right to her. Now the setup in front, the spike from her. That one going to be pancake though. And now back the other way. Wisconsin now getting the hit. Chapman again hits it off the top though. And the point goes to Michigan State again. Again, 2 nothing lead here to start it off for the Spartans. Chapman trying to shoot it cross court. Just catches so much of that tape that it's not able to roll over the top. And it... Uh, Stays with the Spartys. Too much of that downward angle when she came up onto the ball. So serving once again will be Kelsey. And now 
The set up in front, sending it over, went off the top again, but this time it went off of a Michigan State player hand. Point goes to Wisconsin, so they get on the board 2-1 now. Good diversion right over the middle. And coming, had one coming in front, one coming right behind, able to get that and not able to return to other Spartans. So now Chapman will set it over, and oh, just having to dive down to get it is Moster. And now back to the Wisconsin side. They set it up there, throwing it out into the back. Now up in front, sending it over, right back over to the Wisconsin side. They're not able to hold it onto it, though. Point goes to Michigan State, makes it 3-1. Three to, three to one. Not Excuse able me. to get down on the pancake right there for the Badgers, giving the, the serve back to Sparty. Tough play. Now serving for the Spartans is going to be number six, uh, Denlinger. Puts the serve up right in the middle of the barrel, hit that one up to the front, send it over to the near side. Now up into the air over to the Michigan side. Send the spike over into the near corner and not able to get there is number four trying to pancake get the pancake was Anne Marie Hickey. Not able to though. 4 1 now. Michigan State with a quick early lead here. And that's Sparty continuing to roll. Sending it over on the serve. Wisconsin now sending it back over. The set now for the spike there, and that's going to be good from number six. Amy Dentlinger, she's going to get another point for her team here, 5-1, and she's still on the serve. Yeah, you uh, you could see a timeout coming from the Badgers if this gets any worse. You know, early 5-1 lead, got to stop the bleeding here. And that's a good way to do it as she sends the serve right out of the back of the court. Yeah, makes it 5-2 now. Wisconsin back on the serve. Their libero Hickey going to be the one serving now. Try to get her team back to within two. Sends it over to the far side. Now right in front, they'll just have to push it over for Wisconsin now. They have control. Trying to send it, but send it right into the block there of number 14, Jasmine White. And Jasmine White right up there in front, able to get the hand on it and slam it down on the Badger side. Not able to return it. Good play right there by White. 6-2, to two, Michigan back on the serve. Going back for it is going to be number one, Kirby Toon. Toon now bouncing the ball to get ready here. And uh, Wisconsin just was clearing off uh, probably some sweat that was on the floor. Well, the one thing about the GLC here is it the condensation builds up on the ground just from, from so much body heat. Serve was sent over, and then Wisconsin hitting it over, tipped it off of Michigan State player, so point will go to Wisconsin, makes it 6-3 now. Trying to catch it off the side of that tool right there for the Spartans. Or, sorry, not they're trying to, trying to catch that right arm to send it back, just not able to get it. So now back to serve is going to be, I, I believe that 17. Seal sends it over to the far side for Michigan State. The quick setup, the spike there over into the near corner by number 10. Kelsey Coopers makes it now 7-3, Michigan State. Coopers hitting that one right off the side of a tip. That's what caused that funky spin to cause that one to hit right over into the corner. Yeah, nobody there for Wisconsin at all. And now the Spartans again on the serve, sending it over to the far side. That one saved there, now sent to the near side. Nice block, though, by number 12 for Michigan State. Kristen Kelsey makes it now 8-3, the lead for the Spartans. Beautiful block right there by Kelsey, able to keep that one in play. Going to get a, a substitution coming in. It's going to be number five for number seven for the Badgers. Hubbard back to serve now, waiting for that whistle from the referee to get going again. Sends it over, and that one too strong. Point going right back to Wisconsin, four away from Michigan State, who's up 8-4. Now that's another uh, another way of a, a diversion tactic for for coaches. You know, bring in a switch real quick when when the Spartans are on a little bit of a roll, and that's what happened. They were able to get the serve back on their side. Beautiful serve, Michigan State. Save it though. Nice sending it over. That one's going to go too far after they after the pancake there. It'll be point for Michigan State. Nine at four. Yeah, slippage once again over on the the, the Badger side this time. You know, these girls are sweating, you know, all their sweat rolls off onto the ground. And once they're sliding around, you know, those jerseys are going to wipe some off too. Yeah, those jerseys really aren't absorbent. And now the serve sent over, controlled now by Wisconsin. Sent over to the near side. Sent back across, head off the wall. They control though. Now sent to the far side and a nice block there by number three 
for Wisconsin. That's Courtney Thomas. Hits the point for her team, 9-5 the score now. Beautiful block right there by Courtney Thomas. Coming over, moving to her right on the slide. Going one-on-one, -on -one, able to get it down. Michigan State controlling the serve and then sending it over and getting the quick point there with the kill is going to be Kelsey Coopers. Makes it now 10-5. And Carlson right there on the block, not able to close all the way. Slips right through her arms and right to the ground. Coopers now going to be the one serving as well for Michigan. Michigan State, excuse me. Sent over. Controlled now by Wisconsin. Sending the near side. Trying to get it over, but sent it right into the net there. Was number 13, Mary Ording. Point back to Michigan State. 11-5, and there's the timeout. And we'll take it with them, and we'll be back here on Sportstown Chicago and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. Women's College Volleyball is back in action. Welcome to Salwyn Island Destination Kill. The Great Lakes Center 2012 Collegiate Challenge is back, and it's only at the Great Lakes Volleyball Center in Aurora. All the action takes place April 14th, starting at 8 a.m. Not only do you get great volleyball teams in action like Illinois, Marquette, Notre Dame, DePaul, and more, but this year, we're going international with Team Tianjin from China. Thunderheart! And by the power and hammer of Thor, she brings it down! Check out all the action at the Great Lakes Volleyball Center, 579 North Oakhurst Drive in Aurora, Illinois, only here on SportstownChicago.com, where we are, as always, in a league of our own. Do -do 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 -do. Kill. And back here on SportstownChicago.com, Kelsey Cooper sends the serve over. Six-point lead for the Spartans, but the point there by the nice, by Chapman for Wisconsin makes it 11-6, sending that one over after she got uh, the nice set to her and just dropped it right in. Yeah, that it was, bringing out the ice. Good timeout by Coach right there, getting the serve back on their side. Trying to get these points back. You're only down by five, and it's still early in this second set. Wisconsin sends the serve over now, right from the 10-foot line, sending it over to the far side. Blocked there. Michigan State still controlling, though, sending it right over the wall this time. Almost sent it too far, though. Was saved by number seven, but they weren't able to get another hit for Wisconsin. That was Morales who made the save. But yeah. it's 12-6 now for Michigan State. Yeah, able to one-handed punch that one over. But sent it a little bit too far into the net, not being able to recover. Spartan serving once again. They've got a six-point lead. Sending it over to the near side. That one was low. Managed to get it across, though, was Wisconsin. Michigan State controlling, sending it over. And then they were able to get it out from get down and dig it out, but they weren't able to get control of it. Point right back to Michigan State, 13-6. Yeah, you gotta you got to be able to control it, able to, able to recover on that back side, but just sent it behind you instead of forward. Kelsey with the serve, sends it right into the middle where the libero will get it, send it over to the near side for the spike, controlled though by Michigan State, sent over to the near side, double wall, they're kind of able to get it over, but out of play, point going to Michigan State, 14-6 the score now. And Carlson able to one-handed punch that one over from the side, but the way it was going and the momentum of the ball took it out of bounds. Back. Spartans continue to roll. Yeah, back with the serve now, Kelsey sending it over to the near side. Now into the middle, over to the far side for Chapman. That one going to be saved, though. Now sent from the 10-foot line back over to the Wisconsin side. Right in front there, the nice block. Still controlled, though, by Michigan State. Sending it over to the near side. Nice save there. Wisconsin still controlling. Sending it over to the near side for Chapman, but it hits off the antenna. Point going to go to Michigan State. 15 to 6 the score now. Well, that's the one thing about the bump set. So hard to control because you don't know your own strength, and that's what happened right there. Sending the serve back over to the near side. Wisconsin controlling. Now the quick spike there, and the kill by number 13, Mary Ording, for Wisconsin. Makes it now 15 to 7. Yeah, beautiful kill right there. Just trying to get themselves back in it. You know, Sparty is being dominant, but the Badgers still have the talent to do something. Chapman on the serve there. Sent over the near side for Michigan State. Nice pancake there, and then the nice push there, and I believe, though, it's going to go to, and will be Michigan State's point, 16-7 to the score now, as that one hit off a Wisconsin player. 
after the, the nice block in front. Yeah, that one caught the back, back tape. Now serve sent over from Michigan State. Now over to the near side for Wisconsin. They send it back over. Now right in front sending it over. Wisconsin controlling. Sending it back over quick though. And now from past the 10 foot line sent back over. Now right in front sending it into the wall. And the point going to Michigan State. The, the, the spike came from Warding and the block from Alexis Matthews. They get the point for a team. They've got a 10-point lead now, 17-7. to And we're going to get a timeout here. We'll take it with them. And we'll be right back here. ChicagolandSportsRadio.com and SportsTownChicago.com. Dual presentation of the championship round here at the Collegiate Challenge. Only here, ChicagolandSportsRadio.com and ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. You know where you need to be to get your daily dose of news. Hawkway has been shot. Sports. I want to eat with children. Entertainment and ignorance. There needs security in the world, free. Log on to Educated Insanity on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com where we interview musicians, rappers, comedians, and all sorts of ignorant people. So make sure you join me, J.R. Bank, along with him. Yeah, that'd be me too, Jay Washington, along with him. Illinois Jones. Yeah. For Educated Insanity. Wednesdays, 4 to 6 p.m. on Chicago. ChicagolandSportsRadio.com Help fight breast cancer at the American Cancer Society making strides against breast cancer. Payless Heights 5K Walk on May 19th at Trinity Christian College at Bootsma Bookstore Cafe. For more info, call 708-633-7770, option 3, or visit makingstridespaylessheights.com. That's 708-633-7770, option 3. Together we are making strides to a world with less breast cancer and more birth. Back here on Sports Town Chicago and Chicagoland Sports Radio. Chris Labosco and Kyle Griffin here with you. Michigan State versus Wisconsin. Michigan State sending the serve over and then quickly putting him right back for the point is going to be number nine. Taylor Galloway makes it now 18 to 7. Michigan State. That one was too easily sent over by Wisconsin. Galloway really. Got to control your. Salivating when she saw that. Got to control your sets. That's what will happen. You let a set get awry, send it too close to the net, chances are you're going to get a slam back in your face. Sent over to the Wisconsin side. They get the spike in the kill there from number 12, Julie Michelson. Makes it 18-8. to eight. Yeah, Able to get the serve back on their side. Yeah, Hickey the libero for the serve. Sends it across the nice serve. Handled though easily by Michigan State. They send that one across. Put up into the air. Now sent to the near side. Dropped over the front line. Saved by the back. But the point's going to go to Wisconsin. They weren't able to get it over. Uh, They're going to get called for a lift right there. Giving giving the Badgers the opportunity to, to keep fighting for this. Badgers now have it down to nine. Sending it over. But sending it right into the net was number four, the libero. And Marie Hickey. Point goes to Michigan State. They're back up by ten. And now we'll have the serve come from Moster Corey, or Corey Moster, excuse me. Serve sent over, Wisconsin controlling, sending it to the near side. A little strong, though, but it tipped off of a Michigan State player. So point will go to Wisconsin, 19-10. to 10. Uh, That was a very close one right on the tip there. If uh, caught right off the tip of a fingertip. Now the Badgers contain possession. Seal with the sending it across now. Controlled by Michigan State. Sent out in front for the big kill from number 10. Kelsey Coopers makes it 20 to 10. And really right now, if you're Michigan State, you're okay with trading a point for a point. Oh, absolutely. You can you can afford to trade point for point here because at that point you only need five. They need 15. You're, you're golden going one for one. A point well made. Sent over to the Wisconsin side, blocked by a double wall. They got it, though, trying to send it over, but sending it right into the to the net was Courtney Thomas, 21-10 to 10 now, Michigan State. All Michigan State has to do is play mistake-free ball for the next four points, and I think they'll be able to put the Badgers away here. Sending the serve over was number seven for Michigan State. Now on the near side, Wisconsin trying to send it over right into the wall, though. They still control. Try to get the spike over this time. Get it over the wall. Nice save, though, in the back. Now sent over to the far side for the spike and the kill from number nine, Taylor Galloway. Makes it 22-10, Michigan State. 
Big kill right there on that left side, shooting across court. That's what I've been noticing a lot out of this whole tournament. Not many girls are attempting that, that straight on dead kill. They're trying to go for the, the kind of cross court diversion kills because of the amount of double blocks that are getting put, put in front of them. So, I mean, it's being effective for the Spartans right now. And she was able to slam that one down on that uh, the far side from us. Hubbard with the serve, sends it over to the near side. Controlled by Wisconsin, quickly dumping it over, but controlled still by Michigan State. Sent over from the 10-foot line, still controlled by Wisconsin. They send it over, try to get it to the back. Not able to, actually well, tipped off of a Michigan State player. So, point goes to Michigan, or to Wisconsin. 22-11 the score now. And it tipped right off the top of the double block. Spartans were a little bit late on recognizing that that was where it's going to come from, and that's what caused the tip. Now going to be controlled here by Wisconsin. The serve, they they really got to try and keep it on their serve if possible, sending it over to the far side for Michigan State to control. Spike now and a kill in the corner by number nine. Taylor Galloway once again makes it 23-11, two points away. Galloway just... Riding off into the sunset with these kills, these last couple of possessions. And the Badgers don't know what hit them. Now getting ready to serve is going to be Cal or Hal Galloway. Excuse me. Sent it over, and then the, the spike sent by Chapman. Michigan State now dropping it over the top. Wisconsin not able to get there. Makes it 24-11 now. Michigan State within a point here to end this one and get the win. And that's all they need, one point, 24-11. There we go. Galloway sends it, and it was misplayed, and that'll do it. 25-11, the final score here in set number two for the win for Michigan State. They take down their rival, the Wisconsin Badgers. Make their record now 1-1. One and one. Wisconsin will go on to play Illinois now. And if Wisconsin can beat Illinois, that can make things a little interesting. That it could, you know, if... If, just like you said, if Wisconsin beats Illinois, that's going to put them both in a tie. Then they'll have to play a tiebreaker to see who's going to play or who's going to be the champion of this tournament. Um, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out when the time comes. But, you know, the way um, the way that the Badgers played this set, I don't know if, if they're going to be able to, to take out Illinois. So I think it's, it's just a matter of seeing. You're going to have some fresh legs for the Illini. Wisconsin just got done playing a grueling match with the Spartans, so I think it's really good, just going to be dependent on, on who wants it more. Yeah, so we'll take a break and we'll come back with that Illinois versus Wisconsin game and we'll have a special treat for you as the one and only Kyle Griffin yeah. going to take the reins for that one. Yep, yep, yep. You don't get to hear this very often, so fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joshing with you. We'll have fun. Get this going. So coming up next, we got the Illini taking on the Badgers. Another Big Ten matchup. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on the dual broadcast on Chicagoland Sports Radio and SportstownChicago.com. This is Stephen Mielhausen, the host of the Fight Club Chicago. The Fight Club Chicago used to be on Monday and Friday, 1 to 5 p.m. Central Time. Not anymore. The Fight Club Chicago now will be on Monday through Friday, 3 to 5 p.m. Central Time, as we bring you the best from the UFC, Bellator, Strike Force, the world of boxing, and the world of professional wrestling. You'll get the premier interviews in all of combat sports. 